Hello everyone and welcome. I am Mama Loza and today I am going to be playing Fallout 4. I am not new to Fallout 4, but I have actually never beat the game. I'm more of an explorer, I like to go out and see new places and discover things and all of that. So hopefully you'll enjoy my game today. My great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century. People awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. Never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Alrighty, I think we're gonna go with that. Okay, so here's our lovely wife, Nora. Hey, hon. Hmm, just getting ready. But you notice you can't see her reflection in the mirror. Maybe it's like a privacy mirror. <laughs> you never know. Mr. Handy. Everybody should have a Mr. Handy. I mean, seriously. Who wouldn't want a robot to make them coffee in the morning and do their dishes and change your kids' dirty diapers? Let's go see... What's in our bedroom, shall we? Camera. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. Yes. We should really get those vacation photos developed. Very important. Keep those memories alive.
Is it just me, or does 173 degree coffee sound a bit on the hot side? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Let's have some coffee. Mmm, 173.5 degree coffee. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Who would not enjoy the Jungle of the Bat Babies? I really wish I could read those. Sorry. I shall attend to young Shaw. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Yes, yes he is. I'm gonna do my best not to talk over other people who are talking, so... If I suddenly cut off, it's because somebody else is talking, and I want to hear what they have to say. Hun. Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's gonna love the speech. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Okay. I would love to answer the salesman. Good morning! vault calling. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I'm glad you're here then. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, um, hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of... Uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Name. Our name is going to be... Dan the Man Fox. Mr. Fox. Stand, my friends. Yep. Strength is very important. Very important. It depicts how much you uh, can end up carrying. Uh, let's see here. Vats. That's also important because it helps with your aiming. Trust me, I need all the help I can get. Total health is fairly important as well. Charisma, also very, very important. The charisma will give you extra options in dialogue, and it can help you convince people of stuff. And it can give you better prices when you barter with the people. Uh, mental acuity, experience points, eh, I mean, it's important, but... We're not too worried about that. Agility. Overall finesse and reflexes. Yes. Luck. Mm. So we're going to put most of this back in strength and perception and charisma. Because those are, in my opinion, the most important. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um... Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Fox, Sean has 
has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. You heard Codsworth. Go on. You know, Codsworth, you don't have to call me Mr. Fox. You can call me Stan. So formal. Hey, buddy. How's it going? How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Okay. Who doesn't love a mobile? Hey. How's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. And do what? And do what exactly? Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Uh-oh. Codsworth? What's wrong? That never sounds good, does it? I forget when your robot sounds alarmed. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do. Oh, we no. do have. We do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We. We need to get to the vault. Now! Come on, Nora, let's, let's go. go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Come on, Nora. Run, 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 run. to get in we're on the list infant adult male adult female okay go ahead thank you you two follow me come on what's gonna happen to all those people outside we're the doing gate everything we can now keep moving step on the platform in the I'm center going. i'm going i'm going i'm going nora are you here come on nora Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh, oh my god! Holy little smokies. Move this thing! Hold on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! We did it. We made it. We're okay. Yeah, it's okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, you. up the stairs. All of you residents, please we'll proceed in an orderly fashion. No, no, we don't, don't get caught up thinking about that. Home. You're safe now. Yeah, we're safe, but what about all the people just that died? Way, you know, lots this of way. people just died. Male. Female and female. This one's good. Step over to the table. Take a seat. You'll need your this suits before reason. we can take you Welcome. further. Okay. Pick up a suit uh, right over there. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Right behind you, sir. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. How, how long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. 
Just a few medical items we have to get through first. They're checking the everyone off the list. They decide to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Now what? Excuse me. Follow me. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Step in there. Shh. Yeah. It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. See? Honey, <clears throat> could you help me? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Okay. Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Right over here, buddy. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. What are you doing? Get me out of here. Get me out. Has to be a release. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh God. I'll find who did this, and I'll get Sean back. I promise. Can I? You close it. Oh good. I don't have to worry about her. I simply find out. On the floor. <coughs> now, I know with Fallout, the most important thing is, well, everything. So basically, if it's not nailed down, it's coming with me. Oh, look at the giant bug. I hate bugs. Packs are for health, in case you guys don't know. Vault security instructions. 
Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring science staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties, insubordination, or interference with vault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. Not a place I would want to work at. <laughs> Resident admitted. Upon activation notice from Vault Tech, all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with admittance of Vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the Vault. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each of the designated cryogenic pod. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcefully by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Vault entryway must remain sealed under any circumstances. So basically, if you're not on the list, you're gonna get killed. Science. Members of the research team must daily monitor the vital signs of cryogenically preserved residents. Cardiopulmonary and cognitive, cognitive activities in particular must be recorded hourly. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while in cryogenic suspension and must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is encouraged and left to the, the overseer's discretion. Security personnel. Security patrols are to be carried out on a constant eight-hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring for signs of intrusion, checking for atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel, enforcement of regulations set forth by the overseer, enforcement of regulations set forth by vault -Tec. Facility Services and Maintenance Due to the nature of Vault 111, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of these roles is to be left to the overseer's discretion. All clear and evacuation. All clear message. Following a nuclear event, vault Tech will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all-clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, vault tech personnel may be evacuated at overseer discretion. Re disregard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with vault tech, including government and military. Residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. Vault Tech will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff have been evacuated. Mandatory Shelter Period Vault 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all-clear message, all Vault Tech from Vault Tech, sorry, the overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstances may Vault 111 staff evacuate during this shelter period unless receiving the all clear message from Vault Tech. Security logs. October 23rd, 2077. That is the day that the world ended, basically. God, it finally happened. The world's over. Barely got all the residents inside. Not everyone made it. Now it's just us and the icebergs. Not funny. <laughs> I don't get it. Eggheads tried to explain to me that keeping them frozen in a big is a big experiment for a better future or something i don't know it just doesn't seem right that we were smiling at them all that time before putting them on ice shouldn't we have told them something yeah you know that would have been great 
Of December 25th, 2077. Christmas Underground. Got together with the rest of the security boys and support staff and had a little party. Best gift that got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. None of the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. They're hiding something from us. Another company secret. Only for the higher-ups? Whatever. Just a few more months until the all-clear is supposed to come through. Then we can start rebuilding. March 14th, 2078. Only a few weeks left in our mandatory shelter period. Everyone's getting stir-crazy. Some people are even saying the all-clear signal is never coming. We can't stay here much longer, that's for sure. It's not just the fact that I've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for over six months. It's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months. Tops. The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient, focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going to happen. I just know it. April 23rd, 2078. The main door accessing the vault exit is malfunctioning. Now the only way out is through the overseer's evacuation tunnel. How convenient for him. He has one of the science team watching the door into his office at all times from a little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight. Support staffers and security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. Last entry. No all clear from Vault Tech is coming. We need to leave. We're all but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening up the vault. I never knew a man that small could shout that large. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. Extermination is everyone's job. You notice the bug is like smiling? I don't think it'd be smiling. Critical Bugs. I hate bugs. Let's go kill the bug. Die, bug. Ow. It. That was kind of juicy. Giant roaches. What the hell? in here? I don't see anything. No? No. Bathroom, sink, toilet, shower. Do you, do you suppose that shower works? I don't think so. Coffee cup, toaster, don't mind if I do. Hot plate. Beer. Recreation Terminal. Overseer Memo. Remember, use of the recreational terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege will be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. Yeah. Right now just doesn't quite seem like the right time to be playing a game, you know, into the world. Shot Y, kidnap sign. I'm just gonna take it with me for now. Alright, so I think we got everything in here. Giuseppe, 
he's happy. Hey, he lived with the zappy zappy. Ow! 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 Oh look, more bugs. Ah, more bugs. I hate bugs. it takes a human body to become a skeleton but I imagine it takes what quite a while here? where is everyone pretty sure they're all dead possibly eaten by giant roaches like this one die roaches die Guns are better. Bobby pins. Did you see that bobby pin? Bobby pins are used for picking locks. And there are plenty of locks to be picked. Let's see here. Uh, we've read that, I believe. Yes. Cryolator. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear signal. read that. Overseer's log. Preparations. The final staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled and several from Concord as well. Vault tech supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. October 23rd. It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it, even the family that waited until the last minute. I wonder if he's talking about us. I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happened so fast for these people, they must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. Systems malfunction. Strange issue today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. We, re we realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in vault Tech's remote override systems may have sent an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. Supplies running low. There's been no all-clear signal yet. Even though we're nearing the end of the 180 day mandatory shelter period, supplies were never intended to last much more than that. And despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just have to keep everything under control until the all clear. Mutiny. 
A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mouths to feed. Well, you know, and you only got so much food. I gotta open the door. Open the evacuation tunnel. Yes, please. The personnel evacuation tunnel is now open. Remind all staff to be orderly and follow shutdown protocols before exiting and resealing Vault 111. Please maintain all staff records and research. Report to your local vault tech superiors for debriefing and further instruction. But before we leave, we're gonna go check this room out. Dresser. Another empty dresser. Preserved cigarette pack. Bullets. Bullets are always good. Unfortunately, we cannot unlock that because even though I have a bobby pin, I am not a master lock picker yet. Nice. Coming back later for you. Yes, we are. Alrighty. Anybody else? Ooh, that's a big one. Let's see if I can get him without my vet. Hey! What do you know? No! Oh, look at all the bugs. Goodbye, Rad Roach. <laughs> Gooey creatures, aren't they? Who didn't want some nice, fresh Rad Roach meat? Yummy. My favorite. Well, at least my aim's somewhat decent, huh? Well, thanks to that. <laughs> pit boy! Who wouldn't want a pit boy?
back at the giant elevator that brought us down here in the first place. Now, I don't know about you guys, but with not knowing exactly how long you've been down there and seeing the condition of this place now, one would certainly hope that that elevator is solid. <laughs> but this is where I'm going to leave it at today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my videos, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow.